you live in Tennessee, you only have a few hours left to purchase items from Amazon without paying state and local sales tax. Starting tomorrow, the online retail giant will begin collecting the 7% state sales tax and the average 2.5% local sales tax on its products. News Channel Line's Jerry Askin is here now to explain why this change. Jerry. That's right. Amazon ships out millions of packages like this one each year. The tax is being put in place to boost Tennessee state revenue. Today, I found many opposed to paying more, but others who say it's about time. As a college student, I probably won't be shopping from them for a very long time. Brianna Coley is living on a college budget. With the added Amazon sales tax, she says now there's really no reason for her to buy items at Amazon.com anymore. The whole reason I shopped on there before was because I could find reasonable prices for the things I wanted. And on top of that, just the convenience of not having to go out to stores. But now because of that tax, what's, you know, what's the point? Now just to break it all down for you, if I wanted to buy a pair of Beats online today off of Amazon.com, it'll cost $199. 95 today. Tomorrow with the new sales tax it'll cost 218. It does help us. It helps us a lot. Kathy Levy works at Bon Appetit on the North Shore. She says the added tax is a plus for small businesses and puts everyone on even playing ground. When you have to pay sales tax everywhere you go, then I think a lot of people will come into the store to see the products, to touch the products. <laughs> and we can be more competitive. Sky Borcher was in Bon Appetit today buying items for her dog Barney. She'd never shops online at sites like Amazon and now after hearing about the added sales tax, she's even more opposed to it. Because I like to uh, have real unique stores and real people that I have a relationship with is much more important to me than saving a dollar here and there. Today we learned there are 16 other states, including Georgia in our area, who apply the Amazon sales tax. But Aaron Whitworth thinks it's a good thing. So if the money's being used well, it's just a couple of cents to me. And Amazon sales tax will generate roughly 17 million in state revenue yearly. Also, Amazon plans to soon hire thousands of workers at its two new centers in Hamilton and Bradley counties. Patricia. All right, thanks, Jerry. So does this change mean you bought a lot on Amazon today before that change takes effect? We asked that question on Facebook today. Yvonne McKell tells us, already did, probably my last purchase from them. But Billy Massingale says, I just ordered a 2014 calendar today, and yes, I will continue to use Amazon. So what about you? Log on to our Facebook page and share your thoughts.